Welcome back everybody, it's Proxy, and we are on the Castaway server. <laughs> Y'all just hear that bell? <laughs> So guys, that bell is actually signifying that here, where I am at school, work is now over for the plant. So there is a pulp and paper mill, pulp and paper mill, yeah, pulp and paper mill down the road, well, it's more than a little down the road, but it's not too far from my school and at four o'clock every day that bell well except weekends that bell goes off to tell the workers that they are done work for the day which is kind of cool just a little tidbit of information but welcome back guys holy crap it's been forever and this is not my first time recording this <laughs> so over the last few days i've been doing little bits and pieces of recording down here in e rose's skelly farm and i realized that I kind of didn't seem myself, I guess. I was very quiet, um, very hushed tones, and I think what it was is that I was being a little too considerate, I guess. I was nervous, you know, just as you guys might have known or might not have known, I just moved to school, and I'm living with four other people in a school-provided apartment, so a chalet is what we call them. And I will be living here until I'm finished school for this year, whenever that be. And I so yeah, all of us are kind of around at different times. Some have school in the evenings. Some of us have school throughout the day, like myself. One of them is an ESL student, so she has school pretty much like eight hours a day, which is crazy. But it was really quiet right now, so I was like, you know what I'm going to do? Scrap all that footage from before, and I'm just going to do new stuff for you guys, you know, explain what I'm doing, talk to you guys a little bit about school and to see how you guys have been doing. So as of right now, I have actually, let me pull my mic a little bit closer, already done a few bows. So these are bows that I have gotten as drops and I haven't touched any of E-roses up here. I have gone down here and I've been sorting through this chest looking at all the good bows and I've been putting a bunch of them in here and I got the best bows that I could and I've been getting levels to combine them. So there was a few like, there was one or two like flame ones and blah 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 punch and all that. So this is what I have so far. So this is a flame bow that I do want to add to these guys. But I have two power four bows. One has on breaking three, one has on breaking two. So that'll raise this guy up to power five, punch two, on breaking three. And then I'm going to try my best to get this flame on. I almost feel like it's not going to work because at the moment, this is already three levels. So, and if I do it like this, it's too expensive. And if I was to take just this good bow and put this here, it's 26 levels. So I'm almost 100% positive I'm not going to either be able to put the flame on it. And I'd, I'd much rather power five than the flame, I think. I think. <laughs> so we're going to try to get 33 levels and we'll go from there. We might have to run back over to my house because I have been using E-Rose's gold and I think there was something else. Her gold. Well, mostly the gold that I would like to replace back. So we'll probably run over to my house, grab some gold. But let me kind of explain like while we're sitting here kind of letting these guys spawn. Let me explain how things have been going. So it's been over a week now. It's been a week and one day since I've moved to school. Or no, a week and two days. Because I moved out last Monday and it is now Wednesday today. So things have been good. It didn't take me long to get settled away. Um, I don't normally actually, yeah, yeah, we got to stay because this needs to be uh, loaded up. It doesn't take me long, guys, to get settled away because I'm just so friendly <laughs> easiest way to put it I guess um, it's not hard for me to make friends so it was very easy to get along with my roommates and it still is we're a great bunch of people like 
at evening time, we'll go out and cook and we'll talk and I'm really, really enjoying myself. I'm really enjoying my roommates. Like, we, we're all awesome. <laughs> That's all I can say. And we're all doing two of them are doing environmental policy masters. One is doing, okay, so one of the girls is from India. She's doing environmental policy masters. One is from Ghana. She's doing environmental policy masters. There's a girl from South Korea who is doing ESL. And then there's me who's doing um, nursing electives. So it's pretty like we're pretty diverse bunch. We're definitely from all different places, which is really nice because it's kind of fun. Like some nights we'll just sit down while eating or having a snack before bed and we'll talk about our different cultures and ask different things. And it's been like soup annoying it's been super fun like it's been really cool learning about these different things I've definitely been enjoying it and it's a kind of funny because um the girl from South Korea she had her friends over and one of her friends really 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 um well okay a lot of her friends really like me they find they think I'm really nice <laughs> and they were over last night and they were doing some English homework. So I was helping them out a little bit, like reading their essays and stuff. And they do pen pals here at school. So the teacher will get them to write in an exercise. Say this block is their exercise. They'll write it and just their first name on the front. And the teacher will take this and give it to another classmate in a different class. And then that person will write in it and she'll give it back to this person at the next class. So they're writing back and forth between classes to each other. And I was reading some of them and I was just giving them tips and stuff. And one of the girls is actually going to write me a pen pal. Like me and her are going to be pen pals and we're going to write each other just from school here in an exercise. And maybe when it's time to go home, maybe we'll continue when she's down in South Korea. So... It's all up to her and stuff, but it's kind of cool, like, just to know that they're excited to do that kind of stuff and that they want me to be a part of it and they're really thankful of me. They, like, uh, they were saying that I was, like, um, a, uh, I would be a good teacher and I was an angel and they were saying that one of the guys was trying to say, like, he liked my voice because I'm very... I think it's from YouTube, to be honest, is being pronounced like I'm very easy to understand and whatnot. And he was like, your voice is like candy to me. <laughs> and I was like, you mean like my voice is nice? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. So just say my your voice is nice and easy to understand. But it's really funny, like some of the stuff that they say, like just the differences between um, languages and just them in general learning. Like, I think it's an amazing kind of concept for them to want to come here as ESL students and learn English like I would be totally okay with going somewhere like Korea or Japan like somewhere like that and learning another language it's it's super interesting to me and just learning about their culture in general but other than that um classes have been going great so I've been doing my classes, I missed some yesterday now, so that's a reason, another reason why this video wasn't out yesterday, because I wanted it out yesterday, but um, as you guys know, Zach, my boyfriend, um, he wasn't feeling very well, some stuff happened, um, let's just say he passed out in the middle of the night, and like he fell down and like hit his face off the ground, and um, I, I ended up making him go to the hospital, so I went to the hospital with him yesterday. <laughs> And um, we'll let you know. I think he's okay so far. We don't actually know what's going on. He's got to go get a few more tests done. But the doctors so far say that all of his tests are clear. If nothing comes back, he might just be someone who's prone to fainting. So standing up too quick, a blood rush, um, a, pre a blood pressure dropping could be a number of things. Or tilt table, which is like um some people have it where if they walk on unsteady ground they actually feel faint to the point of fainting because of walking on unstable ground and so there's a bunch of different things it could be but so far it doesn't seem like it's a prominent health issue unless he passes out and like bashes his fade up, face up even worse <laughs> which i was so oh guys i was pretty upset when he told me in the morning i was like i'm coming to you right now be ready we're going to the hospital 
But um, yeah, so he's feeling better and stuff. His lip is a little cut up and whatnot. It pretty, it's pretty fat, to be honest. His lip is pretty, it's like two sizes too big. <laughs> and Zach's got pretty luscious lips for a dude anyway, so they're pretty puffy. But yeah, he's doing good. I'm doing good. Like, I haven't had anything serious happen to me yet. Any Like, I've been feeling great. I haven't gotten sick. I've been not run down or anything like my classes have been fun like I've been working really hard like making sure my homework's done early and on time and I just really need to now kind of get over this whole like being new in my apartment fear of recording and start like getting down to recording for you guys again because I was saying one of the things that I recorded in the past was I want to continue castaways at least two to three times a week at what I can two times a week for now, three times if I have the time. I want to continue ARC, and I would actually really like to pick up Daisy again. And that's a big one that I really want to pick up because I have been missing playing it. And then if there's any other series or games other than Terraria, because I've had a ton of people ask, that you guys maybe want me to look at or try, it obviously has to be on PC because I don't have any consoles. Be my guest in, uh, like, and suggest them. I know people have been wanting some more League. Um, what, what are other things? There was another game someone suggests and I forgot and I actually was like, yeah man, I would actually probably play that, but I can't remember what it is. Oh no, someone suggested maybe if I did a Minecraft series by myself and I know that myself and Cthulhu have waking up on every Thursday. Now once we get the map done guys, we are going to do every two, two? I think we're going to do two a week once we have the map completely finished so that we can get it out for you guys. I know you guys have been wanting to see it a lot more. But someone has suggested maybe doing like a mini game, not mini game, but like a mini series on a Minecraft map or something like that. Preferably not CTM because I do have that CTM stuff coming out with Cthulhu. Maybe like an adventure map, something, something kind of cool that I could do. But if you guys have suggestions for that, then let me know, okay? Let us see if we can get some 33 levels from this. I doubt it, but we might. Because <laughs> I do want to... Okay, no. Not, not near enough yet. I'm going to make some more potions and stuff. Uh, and then we will, while these are sitting in here, we are going to run over to my house and pick up some stuff. And I'm going to talk about some things that I would like to continue. Oh, this is, this is not right. Continue doing for castaways. Um, oh, no. All right. I think it stops just, yeah, good, 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 good. Don't go too crazy. Don't go too crazy. Okay, hop in. <laughs> now this is loud, so I will be right back when we're at the top. Okay, so we are at the top. I do have my horsey outside, so I do have, um, it's not talky, I have Aaron outside. So let's go grab him. And there was something else that I noticed um um so I know for a fact I dropped him in here so I'm not sure if someone moved him Chicken. Chicken, did you see what happened? Piggy. Tell. Oh, they're looking away, guys. I think they know what's going on. I hope he didn't escape. God darn it. Okay, let me look around for him. Um, I'm still probably going to run over to the house. And I'll probably talk take Takidesu over. But um, I'm going to message up the guys and see if anyone has seen him. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is what I mean by someone was down here or I saw something before I was interrupted because of uh, my baby going missing. But it says 
trolling you softly and I don't really know what it means. Maybe it's because some of my stuff has been mixed up like this because I guess that could be something where are my diamonds and my iron is it just someone messed with my chests is that is that literally it I, I Is that it? Is that really what someone's doing is just messing with my chests? I think it is, to be honest, by the looks of things. Oh, I hate when I have chests all done and someone goes and does this. Because then you kind of just forget where you had things placed. Um, no, you would be down here. So I guess it's someone just trolling my chests. I don't know. Maybe. I could be wrong. Um, but by the looks of it, I could be right. I don't know. It's it's strange. I think that's looking a little more appropriate. I remember correctly, I had that like that. Uh, and these were here. And this should not be there. Maybe it was because of all the... I don't know, guys. <laughs> Okay, whoever did this, you're a bit of a jerk, but whatever. It's not that bad. Um, take a little while to fix myself, but I don't mind. I think my diamonds are definitely missing, though. I don't know. It's hard to say, but I do need to... Is there any... There's not a single piece of iron. Okay, I need to make two. So I asked the castaways chat if anyone has seen my little horsey, because I don't think anyone... I don't know. I can't say I don't think anyone has taken him because I know I have a bit of a <clears throat> an apology to Eros for kind of killing her horse. But um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see pretty much. We'll have to see if I uh, if he's gone missing. But I haven't gotten like a ransom. There's no ransom letter. Ransom? Yeah. Ransom? Is that the word? There hasn't been a single ransom letter for him yet. So I can only, oh god darn it, I can only assume that's good news. He might just be chilling somewhere. He might have gotten out. Don't know where he would have ran, but he definitely could have gotten out. I wouldn't see that as a, not a possibility. All right, let's do that. <laughs> um, Taki, where have you run? Taki Desu, there you are. Come, come hither, Taki. We are onward and outward. Can you jump this? Yes. Of course you can. You are my life. Okay. Did I do this? I did not do this. This is not me. So someone is trolling my chests. <laughs> what the heck? Um, so Taki is super, super laggy right now. So we're probably going to see you back over at E-Rose's house. Okay, let's try leaving another horse here and hope it works out for the best. <laughs> okay, let's run over here. So someone was definitely... Look how beautiful this is, guys. E-Rose's house is so pretty. Look at these freaking bumblebees and these hives. And this weird mushroom with eyeballs. Well, whoa! Oh, he wants the villager. I was so confused. Okay, let's go back downstairs. I'm gonna drop some of this gold off and we'll continue uh, getting some stuff and talking. Get in the mount card. All right, so we are back downstairs. Let's drop some of these off. Um, What do I need for you? You need another glistening melon and then this. So another thing that's kind of cool that I thought I'd mention to you guys. So if you follow me on Twitter, I think I've mentioned that I like kind of go to the gym and I've been eating healthier. And over the last little while, I've actually lost 10 pounds. And that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's kind of a good feat for me. <laughs> I've been about the same weight and or gaining weight for the last few years just by, you know, 
don't I do YouTube, I sit at my computer, play video games most of the day, I'm not super active, and at school sometimes I don't eat the healthiest. So I have been eating a lot healthier, and I've been going to the gym. Now mind you, the gym has kind of been like an on and off thing, like kind of whenever I feel like it type of thing. But lately, I've been eating super healthy, and I've started doing what's called, um, I guess it's called the Fit Girls Guide, and it just started the other day, and I decided to join it to see how it goes, and it's just this guide to help you along with your working out, and they give you a, feel, a full meal plan for four weeks, and they give you a full workout for four weeks, so a full month, and I decided to try it, and holy crap, guys, I've been dying. Like, it's only been three days, and my muscles are constantly so sore from the smallest workouts they get you to do. It's unreal. But you can definitely feel it helping, which is the nice thing. I can definitely feel that things are changing and that I'm starting to get much more healthy, I guess is what we could call it. So it's definitely nice. I've been happy and I'm really excited. It's definitely a nice feeling to not only feel healthy, but look healthier. There's definitely been a significant change in some parts of my body that um, are have gotten smaller, I guess, since losing weight, like my stomach and stuff, and even my legs have softened. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. I would suggest to any of you, if you're ever looking to lose weight, take before and after pictures. It is so much more of a motivation, guys, when you can constantly see the changes through a picture. It's, um, it's almost unbelievable, to be honest. <laughs> but that's another little splurge, I guess. Today is a very, like, talky episode because we haven't talked in about a week. And I haven't even explained to you guys why I'm doing all this enchanting. So, the reason we're doing this enchanting is because myself and Ty... What are these chests I have things in? I think... Well, if I do now, I've forgotten what chest, so I don't, um... Whoa! Alright. I don't think, um... It matters? Did I put it in this chest? Oh, this is... I think this was my stuff here. If I'm not mistaken. If... Maybe I will leave this here, because I don't remember, and I would feel bad taking it, and it would not be mine. <laughs> But, so myself and Ty, next time we're able to do a little bit of a collab together, we are going to be going to find some Podzol. Yes, you heard me right. We're going to look for Podzol. We really, really both need it for our builds. And we have been tipped off by a reliable source as to where the Podzol is. So we are going to be looking for it and going on a little adventure. And I thought, because of the new skeletons and stuff, maybe I should get some better gear. <laughs> So that is what I have done. There was a diamond. I had a diamond. There should be a chest with one diamond in it. Because I have one left. Oh, this is my stuff. Okay, this is my stuff. This makes sense. Not in here. What are these boots, by the way? Oh, feather falling too. Motorcycle in the background. But so this is my stuff. I've made two anvils. So I've been using E-Roses, which is almost broken. And... This one up top, which is a new one that I placed, and I have one more in here for when this one breaks. Just to give her two anvils, because I have been doing a bunch of enchanting. But yeah, so I'm going to sit here in AFK for a while, and I will show you guys what enchants I get and what kind of bow I'm able to get out of, um, you know, waiting around. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I have done some enchanting. Now, sadly, I haven't been able to put our bows together, and that is because I have to get to class, but I do want to get this episode out. It's definitely a nice talky one to update you guys on things, and I think it's definitely needed. Now, I did get a chance to enchant this stuff, and I got one kind of cruddy enchant. So, let's take a look. The shovel. Do Boop. So this is actually pretty good. Efficiency, fortune, and breaking. So if I need any flint, we have we have the fortune. <laughs> but I'm just happy that I got efficiency and I'm breaking on it. The boots suck. Fire protection 
three and unbreaking three. Yuck. But we do have another pretty much exactly the same as natural selection pick or what is this axe? So yeah, that's kind of nice. I am going to sit here while I'm editing this video and I'm going to continue farming until I get the levels to add these bows together. Now, hopefully I'll have enough time to get this uploading before going to class. But if not, um, by the time I get back from class, it definitely will be tonight. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was not very entertaining in the sense of we went out and did some things, but I hope it was entertaining in the fact that you got to learn a lot about what's been going on the last week and where I've been and why I've been so busy. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. See you guys next time.